it's Sunday morning so that's either simulation or crazy comment or alternatively take an old pair of jeans for a walk so here on what is normally sim sunday uh, i have taken my old jeans for a walk here they are laid out in a very obvious fashion why are they laid out none of it next to that poo next to that cat poo i'd like to find that big cat i've got a camera trap over that way trying to take pictures of porcupines and not, not get a picture of that at all anyway that's another story um so a couple of weekends ago i was asked to help uh search for somebody very sadly lost in the local area a great deal of community turned up people on horses people on motorbikes and s about seven people with uh, with drones and i thought we were pretty ineffective uh, at the end of the day Ev everybody was well-meaning nobody had mal intent but i just thought we could leverage more uh, the technology uh, and i spoke with gene robinson in the week uh, there's a video on the channel about that and he told me about a little bit of software which I'm going to try now. Uh, so the aim of the game, move these uh, away from the garden because that's too easy, uh, a bit further down the property. And uh, so I'm going to fly the Phantom now and see if the software can automatically pick up the obviously laid out genes. So we're going to go from the known to the unknown. Always, always start with something you know should really work, otherwise you are deeply in trouble. So that's the game plan. So uh, there they are. I'm going to be flying from the garden, which is another few meters up there. So I guess if I fly at 20 or 30 meters above takeoff, I reckon we'll be at about, uh, I don't know, uh, 60, 70 meters above, um, uh, above, above the target, the jeans target. Look, you can already see, you see that the sun's coming up, so you see that the light creeping down on across the slope here. So already that would be that would be a big difference. Let's say if I had flown already, we've got a set of images and we're gonna fly the area again in I don't know, uh, an hour's time. Uh it's gonna be sunlight or just shadows. So straight away I'm wondering if we could just keep adding images uh to to the search folder and keep running it and 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 see if results change but anyway that's that's another another chat with somebody else isn't it really uh, best read the manual for now okay i flew uh, and as a recap those jeans on the top left are the jeans that i walked down the hill uh, and left laid out on a rock to find and i created a color profile uh using them and then uh, basically looks for the pixel values uh, and um, and you run run it through the process and it automatically looks for the color and then flags it up if it sees that color or a color that's very close to it I will say right from the outset that there is there is a problem I've reported it to the developers it didn't create the automated reports and when the errors came up it reported something to do with USGS so I suspect this might be one of the first times this has been used east of London and uh, in the southern hemisphere uh, this is not the first time that I've had problems uh, with software uh, that will not work in the southern hemisphere and particularly east of London anyway uh, I, 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 so what it has done is it's, it's thrown up this viewer and look you can see these rocks are plainly uh, trying to trying to be a little bit blue like jeans but you can you can see without working too hard complete concentration of them there so let's go to the next image there it is again it was 69 uh, images in total and of those 69 it's automatically flagged 18 of them uh, as as having something that looks like the jeans oh, it's over there there isn't it well it looks like the jeans um having blue i shouldn't say looks like jeans but look i'm too high uh, i flew with uh, pix 4d capture and I flew uh, 30 meters above my takeoff point, which is off to the, uh, let's get a better image to, I take off up on the right hand side of the picture here. And that big shadow is from the tree, or these shadows are from a couple of big trees that I wanted to make sure I got over. And I think that was my undoing. So I left the jeans down there overnight. So two things have happened overnight that I would hope, hoped happened is rained so they should be soaking wet down there um and that would have changed the color made them a darker color and um 
what was the other thing that's happened overnight? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, you see, but also, if I'm going to wait a little bit longer uh, for the shadows not to be there, change the lighting on the situation. Uh, right, there's another one there. So it's done a pretty good job. I just don't have the automated reports of where all these, these dots are. But bear in mind, you know me, I've barely read the instructions. I just follow the setup videos and these were the results. And this is the sort of thing that you want to get yourself trained up for. Um, you wouldn't want to be going off on your first day using it for real, would you? Or with a real purpose in mind. Um, but it would certainly help you get through the images. Um, <laughs> this is so that's if you ever come and visit come and visit by seaplane this is this is this is the way you walk up to my house okay and see that rock there if you do come by seaplane normally the water's up there so um just be aware of that great big rock that's actually you can stand by that that's as tall as a person uh and it was the water level was down here recently it's coming back up again now so so uh, seaplane visitors uh, beware and also don't go in that cave there i don't know what lives in there but just just stay out of that cave there. So I'm, I'm glad we got that briefing out of the way. Where are we at? That's 13 of 18 images. Uh, it's over there, isn't it? So 69 images, 18 images, it's found something, and uh, it's a good start. I'm assuming, again, remember, I've not read, I'm assuming a couple of things. I'm assuming I'm too high uh, because, say, 30 meters over takeoff, I reckon at least 20 or 30 meters down there. So I'm above 60 meters probably more like 80 or 90 meters and it could do with being lower there now my phantom 3 power pro is not not great on endurance uh, but I could see this being the sort of thing that new uh, mini 2 uh, with its there it is over there with its half an hour endurance um, and lots of them you know every other person having one would be a, a great asset at scouring a huge area quickly so I'm going to keep playing with this. I, 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 I enjoyed this exercise. Oh, there's that poop right next to it. I enjoyed this exercise very much, and it plainly works. It needs a few tweaks. As I say, I suspect it's the first time it's been used in the Southern Hemisphere. So uh, I will get a hold of the devs via Gene, and we'll look at it some more. So, dear viewer, thanks very much for watching. If you've held on this long, don't forget to every Tuesday, 2100 GMT. Our drone stuff this week, Chat of Nonsense, which goes out live on LinkedIn, YouTube and Facebook. And also the daily news updates, generally about 12 GMT every weekday. Look after yourselves, wear a mask, wash your hands, stay away from people being a nerd. See you all soon. Bye-bye.